From the early days of SpaceX, the company's relationship with the FAA has been, to put it mildly, turbulent. The early days were marked by numerous disagreements with SpaceX facing fines on multiple occasions for failing to meet regulatory requirements. Space enthusiasts will undoubtedly recall the bureaucratic hoops SpaceX had to jump through for the first Starship launch license. And now, history seems to be repeating itself as the battle for the green light for Starship's second flight ensues. But the latest disagreement between the two entities isn't about Starship. Instead, it revolves around a contentious FAA report concerning space debris. SpaceX was clearly unhappy with the findings of that report. The current atmosphere between them can best be described as tense. Before we delve further into this unfolding drama, take a moment to subscribe to our channel. Stay in the loop with the latest news on the Starship and other groundbreaking SpaceX missions. This whole situation began when the FAA put out a report that raised many eyebrows. They warned about space junk dangers from satellites in low Earth orbit by 2035. If all the planned satellites are sent up, falling space junk might hurt or even kill someone on Earth every two years. Reading between the lines, the report indirectly points fingers at SpaceX, given their ambitious plans for the Starlink satellite constellation. The FAA estimates a staggering 28,000 hazardous fragments from deorbiting satellites and their associated rockets could survive re-entry by 2035. These numbers alarmingly align with SpaceX's aggressive Starlink expansion strategy. SpaceX, in recent history since 2019, has already launched 5,000 Starlink satellites. With the green light from the FCC, their target is set for 12,000 satellites. But that's not all. They're eyeing global permissions to have an astounding 40,000 Starlinks orbiting our planet. Given the implications, SpaceX is understandably on the defensive. David Goldstein, a principal engineer at SpaceX, didn't mince words. In an October 9th letter addressed to both the FAA and Congress, he criticized the report, calling it a product of deeply flawed analysis that leans heavily on assumptions, guesswork, and outdated studies. The undertone was clear. The company believes it's being unfairly targeted and is prepared to challenge the findings. The situation got more intense when the FAA's report stated that SpaceX's Starlink satellites are a major concern. According to their findings, Starlink is responsible for over 85% of the danger to people on Earth from falling space junk. That's like saying if 100 pieces of junk were to fall from space, 85 of them would be from Starlink. There's also mention of a potential aircraft downing accident due to falling debris in 2035, with an estimated probability of 0.0007 per year. However, the FAA does admit that if SpaceX's claims are accurate about no Starlink debris surviving to date, and their satellites burning up entirely in the atmosphere, then the increase in re-entry risk is actually minimal. According to satellite tracker Jonathan McDowell, 358 Starlink satellites have deorbited so far, and there are zero reports of their debris making it to the ground. Historically, there haven't been commercial aircraft brought down by space debris. However, space debris re-entering Earth's atmosphere is not a new phenomenon, and smaller fragments do re-enter and burn up frequently, largely unnoticed. For example, the U.S.'s first space station, Skylab, re-entered the Earth's atmosphere in 1979. While most of it burned up during re-entry, some fragments fell in Western Australia. Thankfully, no injuries were reported. But it was a notable event where space debris entered the Earth's atmosphere and reached the ground. SpaceX's Goldstein emphasized in his letter that their satellites are indeed designed to fully burn up during atmospheric re-entry. He took issue with the FAA's claim about the space industry not meeting the 90% success rate for post-mission disposal, stating that SpaceX's success rate is actually greater than 99%. Goldstein further criticized the FAA for using outdated figures in their 2021 analysis, and not considering Amazon's plans to launch a large satellite constellation next year. Beyond the concerns about satellites, the report also sheds light on potential risks arising from rocket debris. Notably, the discarded upper stages of rockets that stay in orbit after their primary mission is completed. These remnants, much larger and heavier than the satellites they deploy, could present a higher risk of damage upon re-entry. Take the Starlink satellites, for example. The combined weight of 60 Starlink satellites is just over 17 tons. 
However, the Falcon 9 rocket's upper stage, which propels them into orbit, outweighs them at over 25 tons. SpaceX, with its relentless pursuit of space exploration and satellite deployment, has been launching the Falcon 9 rocket more frequently than ever before. They are rewriting the history books, breaking decades-old records with this rocket. The Falcon 9's reusability record is just one aspect of this expansive venture. In 2023 alone, SpaceX has launched a jaw-dropping 70 rockets, which include 66 Falcon 9S, 3 Falcon Heavies, and 1 Starship. The company's goal is clear, achieve a total of 100 launches by the end of the year. To put this into perspective, it's akin to witnessing a rocket soaring into the skies every three to four days. SpaceX's drive in 2023 builds upon an already impressive feat from 2022. The previous year, Falcon 9 rocket launched 60 times within 365 days. This wasn't just another number. It toppled a record that stood tall for over 40 years. The former champion, the Soyuz rocket, had 47 launches in 1979, of which 45 were successful. But SpaceX didn't merely inch past this record. They flew by it adding another feather to their cap. Perhaps what's even more commendable is SpaceX's impeccable safety record amidst this rapid-fire launch schedule. Over its last 228 launches since September 2016, not a single mishap has been reported. And recently, there's been some hint from the FAA about when we might see Starship's next launch. But this hint seems to have stirred more frustration for SpaceX and its CEO, Musk. It's clear that Musk is running out of patience with the ongoing delays, and he didn't hold back his feelings on Twitter. The head of the FAA's commercial space division has shared some good news. They've finished looking into the issues from Starship's last test. If SpaceX makes all the needed changes, they could get permission for the next launch by mid to late October. Musk clearly feels that SpaceX's progress is being bogged down by bureaucratic processes. Highlighting this sentiment was a recent post on Twitter that brought attention to how the U.S. fish and wildlife officials are seemingly dragging their feet in reviewing the actions SpaceX took post the Starship launch in April. He simply replied, It's crazy that SpaceX can build such a big rocket faster than they can review some papers. This tweet shows just how frustrated he is with the slow pace of paperwork compared to how quickly SpaceX is moving forward. To be honest, it's not just Musk who's frustrated. We, the space enthusiasts, share in that feeling. It's strange to think that we're now more worried about paperwork than the launch of the world's largest rocket. It's really frustrating to see big leaps in space technology getting slowed down by paperwork. That's all for today's SpaceX update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.